Hello everyone, welcome to the playlist of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this session, I am going to discuss the questions from Module 5. This portion is belong to Model Question Paper of Basic Electrical Engineering, Set 2. Let us have a brief discussion on Module 5, important questions. And before I before moving to the session, I request everyone to follow up the previous video. Links are available in my description box and uh, the i button of this particular video. Kindly go through that, make use of the session. Definitely it will be helpful for the students, those who are preparing for uh, university examination. And also this will help you to uh, prepare for competitive examination as well. Question, question 1, that means question number 9a, first question 9a. Uh, with the help of block diagram, discuss low voltage distribution system, 400 volt and 230 volt for domestic, commercial and uh, small scale industry. The weightage is 6 marks. How to manage it? I will be showing you how to answer this first. Please uh, go through the answer key. Uh, you are expected to draw a simple block diagram like this regarding the distribution side. So anyway, uh, after transmission obviously there is a distribution stage. Uh, in that you can mention like uh, there is a from the transmission system there is a step down transformer then we should have one distribution system again there is a step down transformer is essential uh, in that uh, distributor part will be the from the distributor part it is directly feeding to service main and uh, each uh, links that is showing the feeders the different feeders feeders are moving towards different regions and uh, you can able to observe the different diagram the, for different location uh, we can able to transfer the power to the distribution system ok so this is the basic information about distribution system where 230 volt is applicable for domestic consumers and 400 volt that you can go for industry especially industry will be taken for uh, 11 kV but uh, the uh, low, the, distri the distribute at the end of the distribution we will be having two stages one is 400 volt another is uh, 230 volt from 400 volt suppose if you are having the star connection you can able to make three single phase ok you must have studied about the three phase four wire system so we have to familiar about three phase four wire system from 400 volt it is possible to take uh, three single phases ok that means from uh, three phase you can able to take three single phases that is a speciality so this is the way how to answer this and to give a brief explanation then definitely you can able to get the full requirement block diagram plus description total six marks i hope you understood so another important question and you must have familiar in day to day life list out the power rating of household appliances including air conditioners, PCs, laptops, printers find the total power consumed this question is quite expected and first of all you have to collect the data of the power rating of different type of equipments which is used in your house so let me show you how I did first of all I prepared a table uh, first column is serial number second column name of equipment and uh, third one is power rating LED TV 17 watts it's a upper standard one air purifier it varies depends on the manufacturer it varies however we will be taking a stat reference air purifier 25 watts ceiling fan 60 watts even some cases you might have observed the ceiling fan rating will be 80 watts also that is also acceptable air uh, home air conditioner will be 11 kilo 11 sorry 1 kilowatts or you can write 1000 watts Laptop will be having the rating of 50 watts. Phone charger will be having the power rating of 4 watts. The rate power rating of projector is considered as 220 watts. Washing machine 500 watts. Then laser printer 600 watts. Incandescent lamp will be 100 watts. Even some cases 40 watts is available. Even 60 watts is also available. Then ceiling fan some cases uh, it will be 80 watts. Okay. So these are the distribution. At least uh, find out some important equipments in your house again you can continue with the table you are expected to explain in this fashion everybody please concentrate question number 9c why earthing is uh, needed in a building service with a neat diagram explain the pipe earthing okay in the previous set set one we have explained the plate earthing now set two they have mentioned about the pipe earthing pipe earthing is also known as road earthing so how to explain this because it is having the high weightage 8 mass question how to answer this? Yes, I will be showing you what I did. First, you are expected to mention about the importance of earthing. That means what is earthing? Non-current carrying metal part must be connected to the ground through earth electrode. It uh, directly transfers the fault current towards the ground because ground is an universal acceptor. At least you can mention two or three points. You can get, you will be getting two marks. 
and uh, including definition uh, and importance also importance okay it uh, ensures the safety of equip safety of equipments and operating personnel so likewise you can able to mention then pipe earthing do mention the diagram very clearly with all dimensions gi pipe then uh, area everything you have to mention very clearly then explanation brief explanation only points you have to concentrate don't elaborate much because you have to manage your time in the examination definitely you will get 8 marks i'm sure about that so please refer question number 10a in a domestic cons uh, consumers end discuss how two part electricity bill imposed to calculate the bill this question is related to two part tariff uh, what are the major segments of two part tariff definition everything you have to highlight you are expected to write the definition of two part tariff and in set 1 also same question had repeated however you can go through the definition you will we'll be getting two marks then uh, and also you have to explain the importance of two part tariff what are the major segments of two part tariff like fixed charge and running charge fixed charge is depending on maximum demand where running charge is directly depending on how many units the customer has been consumed like this you can mention clearly and uh, this equation is also quite important so calculation of total charges can be written as b into maximum demand kw plus c into units consumed where b is the charge per kilowatts of maximum demands where c is the charge per kilowatt of energy consumed so likewise you can present it well so all of, all all can look at question number 10 uh, b what is in that so please read the question uh, discuss how electricity bill is calculated based on units which is consumption of electrical energy for domestic customers importance of unit and uh, give a one example also if you can make a suitable table and you can compute the electricity bill for one month that is well and good the weightage is 6 marks how to answer this so let us see the hints first of all you are expected to write the definition of unit unit means how many number of Uh, energy consumed it's a, a unit of it's a commercial unit of electricity unit of kilowatt hour prepare a total equipments rate of equipments hours of use prepare a table assume the cost per unit is 50 paise 50 paise per unit you may have to calculate the electricity bill that's it you can able to score it very easily total 6 marks credit so uh, present in a better manner with a suitable table sketch etc now i would like to discuss about question number uh, 10c with a neat circuit diagram explain the operation of miniature circuit breaker and uh, residual current circuit breaker the weightage is 8 marks how it can be divided the marks distribution if you write the details about mcb definitely 4 marks another 4 marks will will be credited for the explanation for rccb let us see how i prepared for the answer so in the mcb you have to explain about uh, expansion or abbreviation miniature circuit breaker circuit diagram is relevant then brief operation talk about the fixed contact and moving contact how it is performing automatic operation and manual operation all those things you can explain briefly and then residual current circuit breaker abbreviation is required rccb then need to circuit diagram or schematic diagram if you have block diagram that is also acceptable finally operation how rccb is getting protected so you have to mention about coil 1 coil 2 then sensing coil three coils will be there that you have to mention very clearly so this is the way how the marks is getting divided so this theory pattern you can score maximum because you have to add more number of points all questions are highly expected a uh, question 7a with the help of neat diagram explain the construction details of three phase induction motor how how it can be answered the construction of uh, induction motor includes the stator construction how it is divided it uh, it has uh, having the weightage of 3 marks and then rotor construction you have to explain squirrel cage induction motor and slippering induction motor separately total 6 marks explain with a neat figure that is sufficient there is a numerical example three phase uh, 400 volt 50 hertz supply is given to the three phase induction motor which is having four number of poles and runs at a speed of 1440 rpm determine the speed of the rotor and the frequency of rotor current it is quite simple question all are informed to write the given data Uh, p n f synchronous speed is 120 f by p then you will be getting 1500 rpm then slip you are supposed to calculate ns minus n by ns uh, 0.04 afterwards you can calculate the rotor frequency f dash is equal to s into f that is why we we could come we need to compute the slip ultimately you will be getting the rotor frequency is equal to 2 hertz this is the way how the marks has been divided if you are having any queries please do let me know thank you for watching